but there's no more important task for all of the world's religions, I would say, in the 21st century than helping guide us to change the way we relate to the natural world of which we're a part. This is the great urgent issue of our age. Uh, the Pope has recognized it recently, very bravely. The Dalai Lama, other religious leaders have stepped up, and it's time for us as Jews who bear this ancient tradition of caring about creation and responsibility for it, it's time for us to be part of that conversation as well. This goes back to ancient times when we had the temple in Jerusalem and the priests would offer the sacrifices and do the rites in the temple. The priestly caste, the Kohanim, lived in various parts of the Holy Land, and each group of priests by town, by district, would be called up for one week a year to offer the service in the temple. When they went up to Jerusalem to serve, the townspeople from their district would become the Ma'amad. Ma'amad really means those who stand up. They would stand up with the priests, and during the week while their priests were serving, they would each day recite the days of the week from the story of creation. On Sunday they would say, in the beginning God created. On Monday they would say, God said, let there be a firmament. On Tuesday, let the dry land appear, and so on. The priests believed that their sacrifices sustained the world. The world continued because the offerings were made every morning and every evening. The Ma'amad were really supporting them in that. They were declaring, here is the world standing. Here is creation in order because the proper gifts have been given. In our day, we also have to stand up for the world, not by offering sacrifices, but by living a life that is responsible with regard to the world in which we live. So we too, if we stand up every day and say, we live in a created world. We believe there is something divine about this world. That gives us a sense of responsibility toward it. Each day of the week, we'll give some thought to a particular aspect of the created world. On Mondays, we might think about the waters because the waters are divided. We might think about the seas, their power, their beauty, their testament to God and their pollution in our day, how they've become the last uh, dumping ground of the refuse of the world. On Wednesdays, when it talks about the sun and the moon in creation, we might think about uh, space beyond this world. What is the universe in which we live? Birds and fishes on the fifth day, animals on the sixth day. So the recital of the days of creation is there to testify to our sense of involvement and responsibility for the world in which we live. We have already begun over the course of the past year integrated into the morning minion year. I've integrated it into my own daily prayers and several others of us have as well. And I would say it has had a certain renewing, exciting effect on the morning prayers themselves. You think, which day of the week is this? And what am I saying today? What am I thinking about? There's a kind of underscoring of the connection between creation, nature, and the act of prayer, which is there in the prayer book anyway, of course, all over the place. But to have it in this way, somehow there is a, there is a heightened sense of, uh, of this responsibility and this commitment.